back. Hello, people. This is Tom Gibson, Chuck Augustine, and we're here in Nye County celebrating Nye County. And uh, we're here today to discuss uh, some of the more important topics that are important to, uh, to this panel, anyway. <laughs> what do you have to say, Chuck? Yeah, I, uh, I kind of screwed up my normal uh, agenda. I usually watch the commissioner's meeting and then uh, come to the show with some notes on the commissioner's meeting, but I got uh, recalled into emergency grandpa duties in Vegas. So I got all kinds of issues going on with my daughter, and I, I am the grandpa Uber service of my grandchildren. So they're getting to school and back and all the rest, thanks to good old grandpa. <laughs> so I missed the commissioner's meeting. I got one email that uh, said that they realized uh, absolutely that the commissioners are not there for the people and uh, I didn't get any details so if anyone has any important things that they uh, witnessed at the commissioners meeting today please call them in. Uh, in general one thing I'd like to uh, cover today and we've talked about this book several times on this show <coughs> is this one called The Creature of Jekyll Island and it is kind of like the uh, Bible of the creation of the Federal Reserve, which uh, was put into effect in 1913 by R Woodrow Wilson and a corrupt bunch of senators and congressmen. And it was done over the Christmas break so that you know a full House and Senate couldn't vote on it. In other words, it was a backroom deal. And one of the, I understand, one of the congressmen or senators that opposed it ended up dying mysteriously at the yeah. same time? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the preparations for it began uh, years, if not decades, before 1913, which, by the way, was the same year that the federal income tax was instituted. So I, I've always considered 1913 as the major year when we lost our country. And uh, this other little book I got with me, which is much smaller than this big book, which describes how the Constitution was destroyed, this is the Constitution. And it's purposely small. It's purposely non-invasive in people's rights to determine their future. It is not about government's rights on how to control people. And that's where the two books diverge totally. This book tells of control, not only of our country, but of the world. Uh, it is estimated a quarter of the world's wealth was represented by the seven men who were at Jekyll Island in 1910 when the meeting took place. And those were Highlands. like the original banksters. Right. They represented the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, J.P. Morgans, who were actually in the uh, Rothschild camp, um, and uh, many others. Uh, but basically, their tentacles went to a quarter of the world's popular or wealth. And of course, with control of money now, in addition to that wealth, they basically were in position to control governments as they have done in Europe for many years, but now to spread out to the U.S. and also to the world. And that's kind of where we stand today. And every bit of news you read today, to me, is a culmination of this process that began in 1913, or 1910, actually, on Jekyll Island. Actually, I thought Jekyll Island, the, the first meetings were in 1906, but I may be wrong. But they started meeting way before sure. they put the nooses around everyone's neck. Absolutely. <clears throat> Steve, we got you on the line. 
Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm so mad today, I don't, I don't know how to handle it. I mean, you know, I, I watched the commissioner's meeting on TV, and it, was, it wasn't on the day. Okay, and I think it's corruption, even with your TV station there, because they didn't air the commissioner's meeting, which they always do, and, well, they gave me some excuse when I called down there, they were, they had, you know, some kind of problem with the staff and stuff like that, but I think the reason was they had an hour of people, because my neighbor was commissioner's meeting, had an hour of people complaining against the three students and i'm sure you know who i'm talking about yes and and, and actually two of the two of the students left the chambers and, and wouldn't even listen to the people now what kind of corruption we got here in this town well they're out of they're out of, bit, they're out of a job now anyway huh they're out of a job come january anyway I, oh, well thank god i mean okay we got we got a we got a, a, a tv channel that, that, yeah, I mean, I, I know you got to defend it because you're on it, but you got a TV channel that that, that is not covering the damn thing. That that's the thing I watch. You know, I'm not. I I, I, I have HBO and all that stuff. I, I but as far as this channel here, I, I like I like uh, your channel. Uh, I, I like the commissioners the best, and I like you, and I like the doctor, and I like a couple of judges that I watch. And then I go to HBO and some of the others, okay? And but you know, I, I'm I'm tired of this this, this Nye County corruption. And it it it, it, it had me do. I, I I'd like to see if your TV channel is going to cover Hoff's deal in Vegas tomorrow, watching the watching uh, the commissioners made a fool of. Because if Hoff at 10 o'clock tomorrow at the federal courthouse in Vegas is having her, his deal with the same people that made a fool out of the commissioners before. I'd like to see your TV channel step up the plate and, 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 and go down there and film this thing going on. I mean, film stuff that's important to us people in, in Trump. Watch the corruption going on. Film it. Go down there and film it. Let's, let's see if they got the gonads to do that, is what I thought of to do. But, you know, because of all this corruption, but I hope they prove me wrong. But, you know, I, I'm just so goddamn mad, I, I can't handle that. I, I, today, I, the, my commissioner's meeting I wait for is my number one program. My number two and three is you and the doctor. Well, thank God you're on and the doctor's on, but, you know, this is, uh, this is getting out of hand. But, anyway, I'll let you go when a bit other callers get in. I'm too, I'm too wound up. Okay, well, thank you, Steve. I didn't realize it wasn't on TV. Uh, in a way, I'm... No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, that's no, what... They made, some, they made some lame ass excuse. I called down his lame ass excuse and they had old boy problems and all this bullshit. But it, no, it, no, I, I read right through it. After my, after my contacts told me that they had over an hour of people talking shit about... Okay, Steve, yeah, we got it. Uh, it was not on TV, what Steve is saying, and it's been confirmed uh, by the technician. So uh, apparently there was some problem. Uh, we'll get to the bottom more of the problem when at the break. And Steve, next time refer to excrement as poop rather than the <laughs> S word. Yeah, uh, I'm an innocent sailor who has never heard that kind of language before. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of other people are sitting around home and they, they don't, a lot. Some people still don't cuss and swear, and I, my hat's off to them. Yeah, and one thing I'll, I'll definitely endorse, Steve, is I, I am appalled at the lack of true news in this county. And um, it's gotten further and further from any in depth <clears throat> reporting of the corruption, of the very uh, contentious decisions that are made, etc. Uh, I wish the heck there was some programs on uh, not only TV but also articles in the paper about really this hard-hitting reporting that we used to have a whole country 
that relied upon for true news, not this fake news. That began to die under the uh, George Bush and uh, the second Bush, and the uh, and it then it had hurt its death knell under Obama. I mean, news newsworthy news. Right. And there again, <clears throat> it's all related to the creature of Jekyll Island, the 1910, and people will kind of somehow roll their eyes that. Uh, something that took place in 1910 couldn't impact this today. Well, of course it did. When you got that kind of wealth taking over the monetary uh, currency of a country and regulating it, uh, which controls commerce, which controls everything, they can uh, print unlimited amount of money to bribe people. Of course it affects today. And, it, and coincidentally, in that same time frame is when the, the government made drugs illegal. Okay, now, mind you, I'm not, I don't think people should be out using drugs, but it's, it's a personal choice. And when the government, whenever the government gets involved in anything, it gets ruined. Absolutely. And the more is involved, the more ruined it gets. Look at Washington, D.C. It's a perfect example. Yeah, and... And like I say, every time I look at the news, today the big news I saw was Cohen and Manafort. Cohen uh, copped a plea deal, and Manafort was found guilty. Of and eight counts out of like 30. Is that what it was? Yeah. And is on his way to jail. And uh, Trump had uh, made a com comments about the uh, injustice of the Manafort trial and uh, decision. And it said nothing about Cohen, who apparently had turned over on him, and was implicating Trump in something. But what he was went on the record as saying that he tried to implicate Trump is from my sources, or what I've read is that it wasn't. Uh, it still is, it has nothing to do with. It. He didn't do anything illegal, okay. And and uh, it, the lawyer is trying is basically saying, um, well, I I turned the light off, but he told me to. All right. And and to me, it's all. <laughs> It's all BS to divert us away from the true issues. The true issues are why don't we have a country? Why are people, huge numbers of politicians and uh, media and all the rest pushing for <coughs> open borders? Another way to do away with borders, to give all our privileges and wealth to foreign countries. Right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it's just absurd. It's and the new world order trying, exactly. and, but they're all, they're, they may be going belly up. So when we were, we were about ready to uh, go to our commercial break, when we return, I have some uh, things that I want to uh, read into the record that uh, I got off of Twitter, of all things, but it's a very credible source, and it has to do with the conspiracy against uh, our president. Okay, we're going to go to break. We'll see you on the other side.